Ever since I was six, I've been catching small water animals from my mother's pond. I put all my catches together in a single aquarium and watch as they adjust to their new surroundings and form a mini ecosystem. There are pond snails, water striders, tadpoles, and of course, the deadly back swimmer. But every year, I always look out for my favorite, the salamander. The other day, my dad was looking at one with me and commented on how prehistoric looking it was. Like a dragon or something, he said. That got me thinking. It did look kind of like a Chinese dragon with those feathery gills and all. Didn't the world's largest species of salamander live in China? Maybe they were the inspiration for the Chinese dragon. That'd be pretty cool to see a giant lizard-like thing fly through the sky, but still know you're okay and that it's safe. Because the Chinese dragons are good-spirited and bring good luck. I remember all this stuff from a mythology book of mine. I got it around the same time I started catching pond life. There is this one story about the four dragon kings and how they brought rain to a starving village. Then I remembered another mythical creature I read about, believe it or not, called a salamander. But these weren't ordinary salamanders. These were like giant car-sized beasts that spent their days hanging around volcanoes and they could even walk through fire. And I guess that's why the salamander is my favorite creature. What better animal that can take you back to ancient China or the lair of a giant sleeping volcano monster.